in the name of the father son and the holy spirit amen the glory of god let us join in singing the hymn god sent his son they called him jesus Let us celebrate this day in joy and with thanksgiving. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Glory of God. Let us join in singing the hymn, Christ the Lord is risen today. Alleluia. Christ the Lord is risen today. Hallelujah. Sons of man and angels. Hallelujah. Praise your joy. and triumphs oh, 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 hallelujah sing in hands and a reply oh, 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 hallelujah gives again Oh, Lord. 
Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by His great mercy, He has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you. Jesus is raised from the dead and destroyed the death and brought everlasting life. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is raised from the dead and destroyed death and brought everlasting life. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in him, me, even though they die, will live and never more. Who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Jesus is raised from the dead and destroyed the death and do not be afraid, I am the first and the last, and the living one I am dead, and behold, I am alive forever and ever. Jesus is raised from the <clears throat> Rejoice, heavenly choirs of angels, rejoice all creation around God's throne. Jesus Christ, our King, is risen, sound the triumph of salvation. Rejoice, O earth, in shining splendor, radiant in brightness of your King. 
Christ has conquered, glory fills you darkness, vanishes forever. Let the Holy Church too rejoice, adoring with the brightness of so great a light, resurrected Lord shines upon you. May this temple resound with the loud voice of the people. This is the day when Christians everywhere was clean of sin and freed from all defilement. And they are restored to grace and grow. This is the day when Jesus Christ broke the chains of death. May the morning star which never sets find this flame still burning. Christ that morning star who came back and dead shed his peaceful light upon all your army. Resurrected Jesus Christ invites us to take part in his resurrected life. He has shown us what the sin and death will no longer rule over us. Therefore, let us pray for the light that dis dispels the darkness and the power of his resurrection that fills us with new hope. Let us say together, Almighty God, you have destroyed the power of sin and death by raising Jesus from the dead. We confess that we are the chains of doubt and fear. We have neglected the poor and the hungry and we have walked away from those who weep. We did not hear the cry of those who were oppressed. We ignored the weak and poor. Help us to trust in your power which transforms and renews our experience, the joy of abundance that is given to us in our resurrected Jesus Christ. Hear this good news. <clears throat> the saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. He himself bore our sins and his body on the cross so that free from sin we might live for righteousness. God raised Jesus, our Lord from the dead, was handed over to death for our trespasses and was raised for our justification. Everlasting God, through the death and resurrection of Jesus, has granted us victory over sin and death. May he liberate us from sin and grant us his forgiveness. May God strengthen us to be the faithful witnesses to the power of his resurrection. Amen. We'll say the prayer together. God of mercy, we no longer look for Jesus among the dead, for he is alive and has become the Lord of life. From the waters of death, you raised us, and renew your gifts of life. Increase in your mind the hearts, the risen life. We share with Christ and help us to grow as people towards the fulfillment of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. Please be seated. Now we we'll listen to the first reading. First reading comes from 2 Samuel, book of 2 Samuel, chapter 22, verse 1 to 20.
The first reading is taken from 2 Samuel chapter 22 verses 1 to 20. David sang to the Lord the words of this song when the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. He said, "The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation." He is my stronghold my refuge and my savior from violent people you save me I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise and have been saved from my enemies the waves of death swirled about me the torrents of destruction overwhelmed me the cords of the grave coiled around me the snares of death confronted me in my distress I call to the Lord I called out to my God from my from his temple he heard my voice my cry came to his ears the earth trembled and quaked the foundations of the heavens shook they trembled because he was angry smoke rose from his nostrils consuming fire came from his mouth burning coals blazed out of it he parted the heavens and came down dark clouds were under his feet he mounted the cherubim and flew he soared on the wings of the wind He made darkness his canopy around him the dark rain clouds of the sky out of the brightness of his presence both bolts of lightning blazed forth the lord thundered from heaven the voice of the most high resounded he shot his arrows and scattered the enemy with great bolts of lightning he routed them the valleys of the sea were exposed and the foundations of the earth laid bare at the rebuke of the lord at the blast of breath from his nostrils he reached down from on high and took hold of me he drew me out of deep waters he rescued me from my powerful enemy from my foes who were too strong for me they confronted me in the day of my disaster but the lord was my support he brought me out into the spacious place he rescued me because he delighted in me Here in the reading, please Praise be to the Lord. Praise be to the Lord. Glory of God. Let us join in singing the hymn, "Thine be the glory, risen conquering Son." Yeah. 
Now we will listen to the second reading. Second reading is taken from Paul's first letter to Corinthians chapter 15 verses 20 to Today's Bible reading is taken from Corinthians, 1st Corinthians chapter 15 verses 20 to 28. But the truth is that Christ has been raised from the dead as a guarantee that those who sleep in death will also be raised. For just as death came by means of a man, in the same way the Christ from death comes by means of a man. For just as for all people die because of their, just as all people union with Adam and in the same way all will be raised to life because of the union with Christ. But each one will be raised in the proper order, Christ for all. Then at the time of his coming those who belong to him, then the end will come. Christ will overcome all spiritual rulers, authorities and powers and will hand over to the kingdom of God and the Father. The Christ must rule until God defeats all enemies and puts them under his feet. The last enemy to be defeated will be the death. For the scripture says God will put all things under his feet. It is clear, of course, that the words of all things do not include God himself, God who puts all things under Christ. But when all things have been placed under Christ's rule, then he himself, the Son, will place himself under God, who placed all things under him, and God will rule completely over all. Here's the reading. Praise be to God. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Glory of God. Let us join in singing the hymn. Sing with all the sons of glory. Yes, yes. 
Standing, let us listen to the gospel reading, gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 16, verses 1 to 11. Today's gospel reading is taken from St. Mark's. Chapter 16, verses 1 to 11. St. Mark's chapter 16, verses 1 to 11. The Resurrection When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so that they might go to anoint Jesus' body. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb and they asked each other, Who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone which was very large had been rolled away. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene who was crucified? He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter, He is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. Trembling and bewildered, the women went out and fled from the tomb. They said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. When Jesus rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had driven seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him and who were mourning and weeping. When they heard that Jesus was alive and that she had seen him, they did not believe it. Here ends the Gospel reading. Praise, Praise be, be to the O Christ. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet you in the name of our Lord and Saviour who raised from the dead. I extend Easter wishes to all of you here. As a preparation, let us sing the hymn Spirit of the Living God, Fall of Russia. Let the words of my mouth, meditations of our heart, 
be acceptable to our rock and our redeemer amen dear brothers and sisters in christ we are celebrating lent good friday and easter in a very historical situation i think the time is very ripe to understand what is resurrection death and destruction surrounds us not only for us our country all around the world and definitely it's a end time we are in and death of jesus resurrection of jesus becomes very meaningful to us because death and destruction haunts every person in this world and that is normally the understanding of a non christian for a christian death and resurrection is part of his life or her life therefore we are easter people easter is a spring time every year we have seasons so we come to the spring time and realize new life in our lord and savior and creator life and gloom of despair disappears and sorrow of many and also many people's life is transformed because god is a creator and he recreates therefore resurrection of jesus is a celebration and resurrection also is an event to proclaim the good news of lord and savior jesus christ and we become meaningful and god become meaningful and jesus resurrection becomes meaningful to every person in this world there is no other alternate that's what i've been telling for the past four uh, four five weeks today people look for leaders people look for hope people look for liberator redeemers those who can give some kind of counsel but we have no alternate here and therefore jesus becomes relevant to this day and the gospel becomes relevant book for everyone today many empires vanished and many people declared dead but there is no hope in the world if you believe that world is giving going to give hope dear brothers and sisters in christ i don't want to take too much of your time on this but i will just draw your attention to some of the major issues of our people and our life and also the meaning of resurrection the resurrected lord meets ordinary people this is exactly today's need we are ordinary people with extraordinary claims of hoping a new life in our life are we also hope a new life an eternal life for everyone in this world therefore we are ordinary people like he met his disciples on emmaus or he met women in the tomb the empty tomb they are perplexed they don't know what to do but they recognized they identified jesus as the risen lord therefore we meet jesus this is a hope this is exactly the promise made by god and we need to understand the difference between hope and the promises hope in new life promises for eternal life we need to hope because we live in this world throughout our life we need to have a hope that we are not of this world we are hopeful of a eternity 
and that is fulfilled by god through the promises and risen god or risen christ encounters us people who believe in his death and resurrection people who witnessed death and resurrection he encounters us whether we like it or not he encounters us many people avoid good friday and they try to celebrate easter and that is not god's intention he wants us to encounter encounter our situation our past and our present and our future there is something new in our past life if you encounter jesus there is something new in present situation if you encounter jesus straight and there is also new hope in the future therefore we need to encounter and this is an encounter of god's righteousness and god's grace with our unworthiness as we are in this world therefore let us remember that we encounter jesus whether we like it or not and today in this particular hour of prayer i think jesus calls us to be his witnesses this is exactly what happened 2020 jesus encountered people so also never forget that when jesus was crucified when he died many faithful people also were resurrected even before jesus if you read four narratives of resurrection and uh, per- persecution of jesus the death of jesus when he was crucified and he handed over his life to god then there took place an earthquake and the earthquake brought new resurrection to people and they were staying there boy the word is very clear until jesus resurrection that is today when he came out of the cave the cemetery that day they went around and then they met many people that's what the gospel says dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus encounters us here and now and also we are part of this great resurrection the mystery of resurrection is how people become how the dead bones how dead elements will become a body for resurrection that is a big mystery we don't know what it is we die in different situations and our body particles will be somewhere but resurrection is a mystery is a, is a hope that we are all before god because we come from dust and god the same god create human beings from dust and he gives life so what exactly ezekiel 37 talks about and reason christ also enlightens us enlightens us with the new hope that death and resurrection will be death and decay will be destroyed the war mongering nations will be destroyed the people who are with evil intentions they will be destroyed not just in hinduism all wicked will die no there is a time of punishment there is a uh, there is a time of judgment we all stand before this great lord we will not just make people to get up from the dead he is also a lord who takes care of their problems if they are part of the evil structure and they will be judged if they are not you are if you are part of god's divine structure divine image and you are also rewarded therefore risen christ enlightens us therefore what is our duty i think we need to celebrate god's resurrection from this uh, death and resurrection also means a renewal and reformation and transformation from sin to the new life and god is making us the new creation and we celebrate lords 
reversal this is an order and it is not according to god's i mean world's standards resurrection itself is a kind of reversal order and science believes everybody believes that this is going to happen this is going to happen but god says no you have new life from the time you die you will become a new creature and you are sown into the as a seed that will grow that will sprout a spring will come and then also you will be glorified so your sown body is going to be a glorified body that's what paul says you are sown in a very weak and vulnerable position that is what the world today and your hope is a spirit which is there in that seed which sprouts god is the spirit and god is going to put you in a better position after your death this is exactly we need to celebrate and we also celebrate god's renewed relationship we are all human beings but we are under the grace of god we are with amazing grace not just grace amazing grace that nobody can define nobody can say in the words but this amazing grace of god will renew us our relationship with the people we also encounter people the innocent the people who are new to this understanding of resurrection we go and witness to those people and we are going to witness within our community within our churches there is something basically new in meeting this jesus on this resurrection day therefore my dear brothers and sisters in christ we celebrate god's renewed relationship and this renewed relationship will bring all old things as a renewed one therefore the resurrected lord will put us in new renewed relationship with everyone i think that's what we should experience from today wish everybody a new life wish new visions for your life a great spiritual prosperity of others peace for others so the new relation becomes meaningful if you find jesus with the living not with the dead that's the message of resurrection jesus says don't serve jesus don't search your jesus in your religious relationship don't search your relationship with jesus in a socio economic condition which is going to decay don't search relationship which has nothing to do with you in this world search some relationship which has meaningful to your life in the lord jesus christ therefore my dear brothers and sisters in christ resurrection is a faith you must understand that this all happens this whole reversal happens the celebration happens the new hope comes because resurrection is in faith without faith you cannot experience god's relationship god's renewal god's transformation resurrection is experience of believers it is of my individual belief that god has risen and this is my individual and also my believe that this is a new experience resurrection is an experience it is an individual experience it is a corporate experience therefore the information women carried on that day was different from disciples and their faith frequency was different from the women and their speed was also different from men and women and the experience of the emmaus was also different from the morning experience therefore resurrection is an experience let us try to understand this experience today yes we have come very early and that's the relevance of this worship before sunrise you come and meet our lord before the sunrise before darkness ends 
you come and worship this light which is going to take a new dawn and resurrection is a sign of salvation without death and resurrection of jesus we have no salvation because all our sins are forgiven or forgotten and a new hope is given death is the cemetery i mean sin is the cemetery and a sin under this cemetery or in this grave we always sleep and god is going to bring a resurrected life today in this resurrection experience therefore resurrection is a sign of salvation i conclude again resurrection is in the faith of our god and jesus christ resurrection is an experience of believer individual and community and resurrection is a sign of salvation may god bless us with this great promises let us pray <clears throat> god our heavenly father we thank and praise thee for the wonderful way you led us throughout this lent experiencing your mission and also your trials temptations death on the cross and resurrection at this hour of prayer lord make us to be your part with the faith that we will transform our life and we also beseech your mighty power on us to understand this as an experience experience of faith and we also pray that your amazing grace your faith in us will bring us a great salvation experience to into our life at this hour of prayer lord we commit all our past into your mighty hand bless us and renew us and relieve us from all the chains of slavery of the past and make us the new creation by witnessing the empty tomb like the women we also pray that your continued blessings will be with us as disciples travel to emmaus you go further and you will make way for us you will make the place for us lord we commit our life life which is full of death and destruction and we also commit our life which is there in your resurrection and life lord bless us and guide us in your direction in jesus name we pray amen let's affirm our faith in nicene creed we believe in one god the father the almighty maker of heaven and earth that is seen and unseen we believe in one lord jesus christ the only son of god eternally begotten of the father god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made one being with the father to him all things were made for us for our salvation He's come down from heaven by the power of the holy spirit he became incarnate from the virgin mary and became truly human for our sake he was crucified and under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried on the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into the heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead his kingdom will have no end we believe in the holy spirit the lord giver of life who proceeded from the father and the son who with the father and the son is worshiped and glorified was spoken through the prophets we believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church we acknowledge one baptism for forgiveness of sin we look for the resurrection of the dead life world to come please be seated now we are happy to include uh, mr samuel prabhakar mrs manjula prabhakar ms runa sharlin and mr nischal matthew into our family they are new members joining our congregation and worshiping with us so let us pray for them and now we listen to the church announcements
a very happy and blessed easter to all of you we are very happy to have you here uh, worshiping with us on our on this special sunrise worship service this morning we look forward to your continued fellowship in the days to come members who are celebrating birthdays this week 18th april mrs audrey sandla pengal mrs sophia r mrs shiba v 19th april miss neha albert and master ivan dominic victor 20th april mrs malathi mrs suma susama philip master adbhut isaac kakada and mrs sneha 21st april mr adrian james kaundinya 22nd april mrs shailaja k 23rd april mr simon suhas members celebrating wedding anniversaries this week 19th april mr melvin ansel kundar and mrs vinita m kundar 21st april mr felix kirubakaran and mrs divya joyce and mr santosh tatpati and mrs sucharita 22nd april mr prakash k and mrs seema james may the good lord bless them and keep them safe in his grace all are invited for the weekly bible study and prayer which is conducted by our pastor every thursday evening at 6:30 pm should you have any prayer request drop them in the prayer request box kept at the entrance of the church next sunday's worship service begins in english at 8 am followed by kannada at 9:30 am during the worship during these worship services we will be meditating upon the theme empowered by the risen lord as you all know our pastor has retired from our service and uh, this month end will be his last uh, in this church so next sunday we have organized a farewell function for him after the worship service in kannada there are several job vacancies in bishop cotton puc college kindly refer to the notice board for more details city area women fellowship zonal meeting is going to be held on 24th april at 4 pm at grace church malleshwaram we request all the women's fellowship members to participate in this zonal meeting vbs will be organized for children from 18th april to 23rd april in our church we request all the congregation members to encourage their children to participate in this uh, we also request members to contribute generously towards the vbs Uh, you may do this contribution either by using the envelopes or through the scan and pay service or at the con- counter in the convention hall if you are doing uh, it online please mark your entries uh, to indicate that it's for vbs vbs final day program will be held at 4:30 pm on saturday 23rd april we request the congregation members to come and encourage the children a special thanks to mr prakash and family who have sponsored buttermilk during uh, good friday worship service and also for the women's fellowship members for sponsoring kosambari uh, on the same day we also thank all the congregation members for their generous contribution towards good friday refreshments easter eggs easter decorations etc uh, last sunday's uh, collection last week's collection entire week's collection it totals up to 95179 rupees we thank all the congregation members who have generously made this contribution a special announcement for the children we request the children to collect easter eggs from the convention hall uh thank you very much and god bless us all i thank all the people who participated throughout 40 days of lent and also those who made arrangements for the services and also who took part actively during easter and other worship services i thank pastor committee and also all of you for this wonderful time of lent and good friday and also easter service i offer to him is rejoice the lord is king your lord and king adore
pray god our heavenly father god the resurrection and life god who lives forever and ever lord as we pray for this great day you be our counselor you be our strength and hope at this our prayer lord we commit those who are celebrating their birthdays those celebrating their family anniversaries bless them abundantly let the power of resurrection be encompassed with their life throughout the lifetime in this world in this our prayer lord we also commit those who are sick and who are facing crisis give them hope give them grace so that they will understand your death upon the cross and the glorious resurrection in this our prayer lord we commit all of us and particularly our gifts into your mighty hand bless them and use them for your glory in jesus name we pray amen let us pray lord pray together our father who art in heaven holy be your name your kingdom come your will be done in earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us sins as we forgive those sins against lead us not into temptation deliver us then is the kingdom power and the glory forever and ever the peace of god which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge the love of god and of his son jesus christ our lord the blessing of god almighty the father the son and the holy spirit be amongst you and remain with you always ah oh.